investment is very much a game changer. I think it gives us long-term funding to address really difficult problems, but also to find very exciting solutions. So in Scotland, around 34,000 people get cancer each year, and over the last 50 years, we've seen real improvements in treatments. And my hope is with this new funding for our institute here in Scotland, that we will really be able to improve cancer outcomes, as well as understand more about cancer going forward and find new therapies. And this is both for people within Scotland, but our research will be really relevant to people all around the world. I was 38 when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Both my kids at that point were at nursery. Alexander was four and Archie was just 18 months old. He was my youngest. You know, based on my age and based on everything else, I hadn't really thought it was going to be cancer. I, mean, I was devastated when I heard, I really was. And, you know, this is my daughter, just, you know, leave us alone, please. Can't believe it. So here you are. Yes, <laughs> five years on. Five years on. <laughs> The research we do at the CIUK Scotland Institute really focuses on three major areas. We study how cancer begins, we then study how cancer progresses, and then we try and understand how we might be able to manipulate the immune system to get rid of cancer. Cancers that the researchers work on at the CIUK Scotland Institute include some very difficult to treat cancers that are very relevant to the Scottish population. So we study bowel cancer, pancreatic cancer, liver cancer, and also lung cancer, and particularly mesothelioma. We brought in scientists from all around the world to be able to study these very difficult diseases. Importantly, we also do really exciting discovery research in those areas, which allow us to really understand the things that leads to those cancers and try and find new avenues to treat them. And sure enough, I found out that I had breast cancer. So the tables were completely turned. I lost my husband just coming up six years and I'd lost my son nearly 12 years ago. He was only 34. And it was lovely coming here today and just seeing all the advances and, you know, thinking maybe things would be a bit different, just the different treatments they're doing now. So it's really good to know that the research is going on. We've been in labs, we've looked at all sorts of things and it's just marvellous. It's just wonderful, you know, it's been great to see science in action. You know, I'm very much thinking about sort of my children and their generation as well and you know, hopefully and have all sorts of benefits thanks to the, uh, the work that the Institute do. We'd like to thank the donors for all their support. Being funded by a charity, we really, really appreciate that people give us money to allow us to do our research. And personally, I'd also really like to thank our research staff and facility staff. I think people are so passionate about researching and finding answers to questions in cancer that will hopefully benefit cancer patients going forward.